Welcome back everyone, this is Spotlight Guy from AC Syndicate TV and today I'm going to show you how to use the new Dalenet Thrive Universal Easy Flash Tool. This is, as it says right there, for all Thrive ROM builds and uh, it's what, it's what it's going to do basically is it'll root your Thrive, it'll give you uh, super user, fast boot, uh, you can flash clockwork mod to your device and uh, you can unroot your device. So, uh, one more thing before we get into this, if your ROM isn't listed into the program uh, then what you can do is you can still flash clockwork mod make an Android backup of your current ROM minus the stock recovery and then make arrangements with Dale PL to uh, get him those boot images and system images and uh, he will incorporate your build into the easy flash tool so uh, with all that taken care of uh, before we get into it, let's thank Dale PL and Turn Your Back and Run, both great developers for the Thrive. Uh, as you may or may not have known, Turn Your Back and Run is the one that found the exploit for the 0003 build uh, rooting issue. So yeah, big uh, props to him. And then as I said with Dale PL, he's a huge developer and he is the one that made this easy flash tool. So without further ado, let's get into it. You're going to see your instructions right here. You need to scroll down through all that because I will be instructing you through this. And you can click on the download link right there. It's the Dalenet Thrive Universal Easy Flash Tool version 1.2. And it'll take you to the download. You can, uh, you can do that. I've already done it myself. And we can get on to the next step. Alright, so once you, get in, once you navigate to the folder that your Easy Flash Tool went into, you're only going to see this right here, the Dalenet uh, Easy Flash Tool Compressed to Zip folder. What you're going to do is right click it, go to 7-Zip, and extract here or wherever you would like them to go. That's going to give you these other icons and files right here. You're going to have three folders, a README Microsoft Office Word file, and a, excuse me, the, uh, the BAT file, which is the Universal Easy Flash Tool. Alright, so... Before we get into the application, you need to go to the USB ADB drivers folder, click on that, and then click on the application. It says, are you sure you want to install the USB ADB drivers for your Thrive? We'll click yes. All right, and then click next. All right, drivers were successfully installed on this computer. Now, if you have anything saying that, uh, the files weren't signed or you know some kind of other error during your installation it's okay just hit install anyway and you'll be good to go nothing's gonna go wrong with your computer or your device alright now we can go back and go to the universal easy flash tool this will bring up this dialog right here let me zoom in alright I'm hoping you guys can read that alright so you hear here's your easy flash tool now there's some steps to do before you go on to the next screen. You need to ensure your ADB drivers are properly installed. We already we, we just did that, so we're good to go right there. Ensure your device is booted up normally. Mine is, and your guys' should be too. Alright, uh, ensure your device's USB port is set to debug mode. And how to do that is you go to settings, settings, applications, development. And then make sure USB debugging is checked. Mine is already checked, so we're good to go there. And shear device is plugged into the external charger. Bam! And shear device is connected to your PC via mini USB port. There we go. All right, at this point, your device is ready to begin the root process. So press any key to continue and zoom back in. All right, so please select the task you want to perform. We have root your device, unroot your device, and flash recovery to your device. Uh, root and unroot are basically the same, ex there's the same exact steps. You press one or the other, it'll take you to your next screen. You select which build you want, hit enter, and it'll start the, either the rooting or the unrooting process. Now, we are going to root our devices. So let us press one and enter. Now this is the screen I was talking about earlier. See if I can zoom in anymore, and it'll still be clear. Alright, 
So you have 0, 0, 1, 1, you got your 2, 3, 8, 5, and 4. Those are the devices that are on this Easy Flash tool to date. So if, like I said earlier in the beginning of this video, if your device isn't on there, then uh, do those steps that I said in the beginning of this video, or you can just read the dialogue that is in the beginning of the thread uh, from Dale PL, and it'll let you know what you can do to uh, get your images on the Easy Flash tool. Now, since I am running 0003, I'm gonna hit three and enter. Now, if you're not running three, then make sure that you uh, press whichever option that you are running. And if you didn't know how to do that, all you do is go to settings, about tablets, scroll down to build, and read the last four digits. It'll be right there. All right, so enter. All right, and here is the congratulations screen. If everything went as it should, it should be rooted. Uh, let's press any key to continue. And let's just take you back to your main menu screen. Let's go back to our Thrives and see what we got. All right, so we're gonna unlock the device. We're gonna go to apps, scroll over, and there's super user right here. I'm gonna click on it, click on the monkey wrench, scroll down till, till you get to SU binary, then the version number, tap to check for updates, and then update anyway. All right, so we're good to go there. All right, now let's get into uh, recovery mode. So we're gonna power down. Hit OK. And wait for it to completely shut down. All right, once you hear the vibrate, you're going to press and hold volume up and the power button. So it vibrates again and gets to this screen right here. All right, you have, there's fast boot, and then here's your recovery. Let's see if Clockwork Mod is on here. Press the power button to select and the volume keys to navigate. And we have Clockwork Mod recovery. All right, so it all works, it's great. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any issues or you just wanna say, hey man, great job. I love all the praise I can get. <laughs> and, uh, Subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with any kind of uploads that come up in the future. And go to my social networking sites, Google, Facebook, Twitter, or excuse me, <laughs> Google+, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, which are all listed down below in, in the description. And subscribe to all of those if you can, and that'll uh, keep you even more up to date because you'll be up to date mobily on what's going on. So I, say, I give... Uh, status updates on anything that happens on the YouTube channel or any kind of news that I think is worthy enough to go on my social networking feeds. So, with all of that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and a great rooting experience. Uh, thank you very much. This is Spotlight Guy, I'm signing out.